Tak já už jsem připravená. Ahoj, dobrý den. Já vás zdravím u svého čtvrtečního videa. Uh, welcome everybody. Dneska mám pro vás jedno slovo. I just have one word for you. Už. Už is a very common word in the Czech language and I am going to talk about it in this video. Let's have a look at these two sentences. Už. Už. You can write a whole series of stories, a little dialogues with these two words by themselves. But we are also going to have a look at how they work in a context. But let me give you an example what this can mean. If somebody asks you už, it can mean ready or can I? Are you ready for this or that? Imagine you are preparing a surprise for somebody and that person is waiting in the other room and they're getting impatient and they are asking Už? <laughs> Už? Is it ready? And then when you have your surprise ready, you would scream out Už? Ready? <laughs> you can go now. It's ready for you. Už? Už. Now, let's have a look at more examples. If I could choose one word that would characterize <laughs> our language, Už would probably be that one word. I remember uh, in summer of 2021, I saw this big billboard and that said Už and exclamation point. You can see it right here in the picture. And it was about tickets being sold for the new season for the National Theatre. So it said the tickets are already in sale. So Už was this big word that would draw your attention. And už is the word that appears throughout the Czech language in many different situations. Sometimes it has its uh, important meaning and sometimes it's there just because we like to use it. I often catch myself writing this word in every sentence when I write a text message and then I have to erase some of them because I realize they are not necessary. <laughs> but this is how much we love this word. When you put it in the dictionary, už is translated as already when we talk about an affirmative sentence. Yet, when we talk about question, or not anymore, when we talk about a negative sentence. And it's used as an adverb. It also has another meaning as a particle and we will also talk about that. Let's have a look at the first two meanings already and yet. And we will start by emphasizing an amount. So when you say that already some amount, for example, you're organizing an event and you say oh, Už přišlo 150 lidí. Neuvěřitelné. Už přišlo 150 lidí. Unbelievable. Already 150 people came. We could also have už here. Přišlo už 150 lidí. We often use it in front of a verb. But here is acceptable right before that number. You are saying that you are surprised that it's already 150 people. Or už je 10 hodin. It's already 10. Už je 10 hodin. Again, showing it's high time to do something or you're surprised that it's already 10. Just like in English when you want to use already. And then uh, there are cases where we just use it with an activity and we want to emphasize that activity being already done. So, už to mám. Už to mám can mean two things. It can be either that you are done with something, I'm done already, or it could be that you were thinking about a solution and you finally got it and you say, ah, už to mám. I got it now. I got it already. Or you are informing somebody that you are on your way. So you could say, už du. I'm already coming. Or you could say, ja, už du. The word už doesn't have to start the sentence, but it often does. Už du, I'm coming. Or you can say, ja, už du. Už já du is not acceptable here. There is actually a song that says Já už du. And you actually listen to it in the video at the beginning. Já už du, už mám všechno hotový. Už jsem na cestě. I'm already on my way. Už jsem na cestě. Už jsem tady. I'm already here. Už jsem tady. If you're calling somebody I'm here, 
I'm already here. You can say Už jsem tady, but it's totally fine to say jsem tady. Or you just want to give it an extra meaning of something being already done. Už jdu, už jsem na cestě, už jsem tady. Už jdu spát. I'm going to bed now. I'm already going to bed. Again, it can mean two things. I'm going to bed very early today. It's only nine o'clock and I'm already going to bed. Už jdu spát. Or I'm simply stating, I'm going to bed now. And here is už used in questions. Už jdeš? Are you coming already? Už jdeš? Here už has a significant place. Because if I don't use it, I ask dash. It would sound like I'm asking, are you attending this? Are you coming? And if I ask už jdeš? Are you already coming? Have you already left? So we could say that už could also be related to present perfect. And in Czech, present perfect doesn't exist. So we sometimes translate it as past tense and sometimes as present tense. Just like here, už to máš? Somebody's working on, on a project and you're asking, have you finished? Už to máš? But literally in Czech, it's do you already have it? And of course, we can also use it in past tense. And that's where we would often translate it as present perfect in English. Už jste viděli ten film? Have you seen that movie? Už si tam byl? Have you been there yet? Už si tam byl? Again, when we look at the word order, už comes as the first word in these examples. But it doesn't have to be. Uh, like I said here, you can put it right before the number. Je už deset hodin. Here this is the most acceptable word order. Here it's also possible. Jsem už na cestě. Or jsem už tady. Although it's not the, the number one choice. You would prefer to use it in this particular order. Do už spát is also fine. Also depends on speaker. For example, I like to use it at the beginning and when you hear it at the end it's uh, a sign of being colloquial because when we speak uh, we sometimes want to add something that didn't occur to us when we studied the phrase so i could say uh, už. it would not be by the book but it's also possible here you can also say Deš už? and it would even sound more impatient Deš už? come on have you left yet už deš? are you already coming and here it's possible to say viděli jste už except here we would have to switch these two words viděli jste už ten film or byl si tam už ty si tam už byl there are many other possibilities but as you can see if you use it at the beginning you will be correct let's look at some examples with a negative Už nemám zájem. I am not interested anymore. Už nemám zájem. Or nemám už zájem. Or kolakujeli, nemám zájem už. Už mi nic neříkej. Don't tell me anything anymore. Už mi nic neříkej. Já už to nestihnu. I'm not gonna make it anymore. When you find out you don't have enough time. Já už to nestihnu. Or už to nestihnu. Na to už jsem si nevzpomněl, o nevzpomněla. I didn't remember that anymore. Or that I didn't remember anymore. It's also possible to say na to jsem si už nevzpomněl. An example with two už, už. <laughs> Film už začal, tak jsme už neviděli začátek. The movie had already begun, so we didn't see the beginning anymore. So here it's with a negative verb. Už jsme neviděli začátek. And again, here it's possible to say Tak už jsme neviděli začátek. And now we are at our last part where I'm going to show you a couple of examples of how this word is used as a particle and particularly expressing a wish. We could translate Už as already in many of these sentences, but sometimes it could sound strange. Nech už toho. Nech už toho means enough already. Leave that already or stop with that now. This is an imperative, which means leave or also stop doing something. Abandon this activity. 
nechuž toho, so stop with it now. And again, it's possible to say už toho nech, but we will use both these words at the beginning. Už toho nech. Už dost. Už dost is a very strong expression. It also means enough already. Dost means enough. Už dost. A full expression, which would be more like a statement. Už toho mám dost. I've had enough already. And then we can make it as a wish. Už dost. Enough already. Ale už is also a very interesting uh, sentence, which could be very similar to the previous one. Ale už. If somebody keeps annoying you with their comments or is doing something you told them not to, they keep uh, stealing the cookies from the table, you slap their hand and say, ale už, už toho nech. Stop with that. We use ale here to express this wish. Ale means a particle here. Už aby byl čtvrtek. Už aby byl čtvrtek a bylo nové video. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it were Thursday already. So again, we're expressing a wish. You want something to already happen. Už aby byl čtvrtek, už aby byl víkend. So this is one way to express a wish with another form of conditional. Aby, aby. Another wish and a sign of desperation. Ať už si pryč. Go away. I wish you go away right now. Be gone. Ať už si pryč. And ať, this word, is another sign of a wish. When you want something to happen. Ať. I wish that something. Ať už si pryč. Tak a to už je všechno. And this is already all. <laughs> už je konec. It's already the end. A já už se loučím. And I'm already saying goodbye. <laughs> Ale nebojte se, uvidíme se v pondělí. So don't worry, I'll see you on Monday. Tak já už jdu. Ahoj. A ještě ne, not yet. Ještě jedna věc. One more thing. Uh, next grammar video will be about ash. So you can look forward to this very similar word. Ash. Ash už. Tak teď už se loučím.